Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're getting back to our draft prospects. And up today is Laatu Latu, Edge from UCLA. Now, according to the Draft Net Network, here are his measurables and his accomplishments. He's 6'4", 261 pounds. His accomplishments, the 2023 Lombardi Award, the 2023 Ted Hendricks Award, first team All-Pac-12. Uh, his strengths, advanced pass rusher and skill set, telling you, you're going to see that. It's. I had so much fun watching this, these games, and I thought it was just what he did to Colorado because we all know Colorado had O-line issues, but this dude is a menace. Uh, he was outstanding motor and effort, elite production in 2022 and 2023, and he's NFL game ready. The concerns that the Draft Network has for him, his neck injury, he missed two straight seasons, functional strength, and his arm length. Now, we're going to get into the film. I got, I think, nine plays. Let's get into uh, Latu, Latu from UCLA, number 15. Reminds me a lot of another number 15 that they had at UCLA that finished his career at Miami, but now plays for the Dolphins. Y'all know who. All right, let's get into the film of Latu, Latu, number 15, UCLA. And, again, I mentioned it, you know, in the opening that he terrorized Colorado and we know Colorado had O-line issues so I kind of like dismissed that game for him as to it was Colorado watching these games of him terrorize other O-lines just as well and I was like oh 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 it wasn't just Colorado now the <laughs> the <laughs> UCLA and USC both are in LA whatever side of town USC's on Latu should not be allowed on that side of town anymore. Wherever the, the guard and, and tackle hang out for USC, it, it should be a, a poster of a Latu up there. Do not let this man in there. He, he's a menace to society wherever their hangout spot's at. And I got nine plays to show you why. Let's, let's get started. There he is right there. And again, and I thought, you know, it was just versus the pass. It's not. It's not just versus the pass. This is the run play. Taking on the guard. Holding his ground, going flat down the line, in his gap. The huge arm over. That gets rid of the guard. Now he's in the hole. Ready to make the tackle. He's not just a pass rusher. I thought he was initially, but he's not. He's not just a pass rusher. This is elite. Usage of hands versus a guard. This is not a tackle he's fighting against. This is a guard. And we know them guards be super strong. Using his leverage, using his strength, using his quickness to get rid of the guard. Get the guard off balance. Get rid of him. Using using the guard want to be strong right here and use it and use his strength to kind of bully the bully Latu out of there. He lets him lean forward and get that that all that weight and mass going forward, and he basically pulls the rug out away from him, like a matador. Yeah, get out of the way. Now I'm right here in my hole, ready to make the tackle. It's got to be nuanced in there. Got to be. And again, this is another one versus the run. Versus the same guy. This is double team. So. He's working one-on-one -on -one initially versus 70. Tries to go inside. Now, he, see, he sees the run coming. Crosses his face. That's using his quickness to cross his face to get back in the gap. 76 coming as the puller. 76 starts out as the other guard. So he's facing both guards on this play. He ducks his shoulder. Gets this shoulder right between both of them right there. And just gets skinny. Gets skinny and get between both of them right there. Now, he's penetrated both guards. Pause. And, and dives at the running back. And he he makes the, the running back have to bounce this to other defenders because he got through both of them. And he don't make the tackle, but he makes the play for other people. Great job. And now we get to the pass rush stuff. He had Caleb running for his life all game. All game. Versus the other guard. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. 
absolutely nuts. The timing of the arm over. The swim. He got his hands in the perfect spot. The guard takes that left arm and tries to shoot him. He takes his right arm, slaps it by, brings the right arm over the top. Perfect position. Perfect position. I, technically, it could be a hole. But now he's right in Caleb's face. Caleb got to run for his life. And this is, I ain't going to say every pass play, but this is constantly, constantly, constantly all game. This is the next, this is the next play. On the edge again. <laughs> Starts out versus the tackle. Ends versus the guard. Jumps inside the tackle. And the tackle's responsibility is probably the other guy on the edge. So he ends up versus the guard. The guard basically almost whiffs him. Like, I don't know what the guard is trying to do there, but it's not very successful. He almost pinballs the, the guard to the, the tackle to the guard. And goes straight through. Now Caleb's running for his life again. He's face to face with Latu almost instantly before before he even getting his drop good. Now the guard does a you know a decent job of coming back and getting him on the back end, but again, he's disrupted the quarterback already. Which is crazy. Now they, they complete the pass, but still, that's neither we ain't we ain't, that ain't what we're here for today. We're here for the disruption that Latu's created. <laughs> like it's not a lot that even needs to be said it's both of them because the end drops out see this end right here he's gonna drop out let me make that bigger that's too little he's dropping out so the guard and the tackle both got, gonna have a lot to, to, to themselves so when he drops out look at the tackle go to help now, I don't know what kind of technique this guard got, but watch Latu slap that, that right arm down. Bam, slap it down. Now, he's already gotten his left shoulder past the guard. So, the guard's beat. And technically, the tackle's beat, too, with the placement of that shoulder. He just got to power through, which is what he does. There's nothing either one of them can do. And again, right in Caleb's face almost instantaneously. Caleb's running for his life. What I like about this is he don't quit on the play. Caleb is doing all his magic and getting in and out of, you know, sacks and avoiding people. Watch Latu, which is he's right here. Watch him finish the play. Come here, boy. Crazy. Now, if you've made it this far and you have not hit the like button, hit the like button. And if you like what you see and you are not subscribed, subscribe. Help me hit that goal of 10K by the time the NFL draft gets here. Let's move to our next play. Here we go with back-to-back -back sacks. Back-to-back -back sacks. There he is right there. <laughs> what? Like, what are these guys thinking? One-on-one -on -one block. And it's obvious that the guard's arms are, are longer than his. So look, at, look at the reach on the guard. But he just takes them. Pulls him to him and throw, look at that placement. Look at the rip right there. Well, he takes his right arm and just slaps slaps the guard right arm down. That right there, that move right there, and just got rid of him. Now, the guard, I don't know where the guard's looking after he got beat. Did he think he was going to have from have help from the running back? I don't know, but I would have hate to have been every lineman on USC staff, I mean, on USC's O-line except for the center. Watching this. Because he was a one-man wrecking crew on both sides. The first two clips was on the, the right, I'm sorry, the left guard and left tackle. These last four or five have been on the right guard and right tackle. So that's one of two sacks in a row. This is the second sack in a row right here. <laughs> you just power through him. That's it. It's just power through him. Now they're going to use the back to chip. He's already beat the tackle off the ball. He just beating the tackle right here with speed because he missed his initial move with his hands. Like, see, he missed the move right there. But he's inside the tackle, which is good. He got his hands inside the tackle, inside the framework. And he can kind of 
control the tackle because he's inside of him. And see how he's just pulling him down? The back tries to chip, but the back is no match. The back is no match because look at the leverage. He's lower than the back. And watch he jack the back up. Stands the back straight up. Look at that. The back's almost standing straight up. He was out leveraged by Latu. So now he's just going to power through him. That's the second sack. I mean, he's just terrorizing this O-line, man. Completely terrorizing this O-line. And a wide nine technique. <laughs> this is so much fun to watch it. <laughs> and, and I'm an offensive guy. Just taking the leverage. And this is a, a straight double team. Watch the guard and the, the, the tackle kick to him. Both kicking a lot too. The, guard, the tackle takes him initially. He just out leveraged him with the arm. And before the guard can even really do anything, the guard trips. But they actually trip over each other, honestly. That was a terrible double team. And he makes sure it's a terrible double team by throwing them to the ground. So they allocated two guys to him, and neither one of them did anything to stop him, which is, which is crazy. And we'll end it with this one right here. This is a straight-up hole. But again, that's, that's what they had to resort to. He coming off the edge. He disengaging and the rip because the tackle can't get back and get in a good enough position because he's so fast. And if he just tried to speed kick, he's not in position to defend the inside. And if, if this is, he did this to almost every O-line they faced, almost every O-line they faced. Again, I saw him do this to Colorado and I thought it was just a fluky because we know they had issues. But just look, he this was, I could have put eight more clips on here versus USC. I mean, versus, yeah, versus USC. A menace. A menace to these dudes. So, <laughs> uh, Liatu, Latu, I don't know if I'm going to see a better edge when I, you know, doing this, this draft cycle. So, obviously, he's going to start off as edge number one for me because this is the first edge I did. But if there's somebody out there better than him, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. So you've made it to the end of the video. If you have not hit that like button, please do so. If you like what you see and you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of the draft videos drop throughout 2024. Um, that time of the year, film don't lie. FTML, film then more film because the film don't lie. This film definitely does not lie about Leatu Latu. Now I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Peace and love. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.